In this video, I'll show you how to take a screenshot in Microsoft Edge and blur selective content which you do not need in the screenshot. Now I'm in Microsoft Edge. Now in order to take a screenshot, I just do a right click and then I have an option of screenshot. Now I get three options, capture area, capture screen area, capture full page. Now let's take for example, if I select capture area, Okay, which is the default selection and if I just select any content I get an option to do a markup capture now if I click on markup capture I get an option to draw so I can draw anything on the screen I can erase the content but I do not see any option to say uh, if I want to just blur the content discover okay or icons okay now, if I want to just blur this, I have no option, but I just come here and then I just scribble this and take this off, right? Which doesn't look professional. So in order to do that, what I'm going to do, I'm just exit out of this and I'll do a right click again, click on screenshot, then select this option, capture screen area. So I'll click on capture screen area. I'll select the content. And now here I get an option, something called as mosaic. So if I select mosaic, okay. So this is a mosaic option. Okay. Now let me X out of it and again show you just do a right click screenshot, select the content from here, capture screen area. And then once you select it, just select say the image or the content, you see an option called as mosaic. You select on mosaic and then you have an option to select the mosaic size. So I just select mosaic and then I'll select some size and now if you hover the mouse you see that this is the uh, mouse you get mouse cursor so i'll just press the mouse and then start dragging the area which i want this mosaic to appear so now as you see that content is gone okay similarly i can come over here and then i can highlight this and then once i'm done with it i can go ahead and save this to the clipboard or download the file so let me save this to clipboard and then i'll go to microsoft word or any other editor of my choice and i'll just paste this and this is how you basically take a screenshot and then blur the content now this not only works for text but it also works for images as well so let me scroll down a bit and let me just do a right click again click on screenshot and then click on capture screen area and then i will select the screen area and say think about it like say if these are the images which you have taken uh, within your screenshot and now if you do not want the text uh, or maybe you do not want this image at all so let let me select this visit sunshine coach so if i do not want this image at all uh, or maybe i want to blur this content i can just go to mosaic uh, select the size and then start working on it right so as you see over here i'm just erasing this image it's not erasing an image but then it's basically making this uh, content irrelevant now this is useful when you are preparing a document or if you're taking a screenshot and which if the screenshot contains some personal information or personal references or personally identifiable information or any other confidential information then you can just go ahead and uh, do this quick uh, mosaic uh, painting on that particular content and now within a fraction of second you have achieved that so with no tool uh, with just a browser microsoft edge and this is like a quick fix you know i'd say like if you're working on a project and if you just quickly want to take a screenshot then you can just go ahead use this functionality and then it will do in a flash of a uh, second now alternative ways like you take a screenshot put it in either word or ms paint or maybe any other editor like adobe photoshop uh, and then start editing it save the file and then put it in word it will take a lot of time so in order to avoid all those complications microsoft edge has this feature which will allow you to blur the screenshot the screenshot content and also it can blur the uh, image content as well and alternatively like once you're done with it as i mentioned to you you can either save it to the clipboard or maybe save this in your file system so i just click on save and uh, this has saved it my file system as a png image now 
as you see over here it has saved this uh, it can save this value in a png image so i'll just click on save and then it will save this value so if you see over here it has saved this image with a blurred screenshot so that's it folks this is how you basically use microsoft edge to take a screenshot and blur the content thanks for watching